All right, Shalom. This is Amal Wan from the GMS Lions 10 camp. Coming at you guys with another another lesson. Hope it's edifying to the argument and the aquas as well. And also the children as well, too. Uh, but before I get into it, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Call Halayim, La, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Bahashim, Raqqa, Kadash, Ma'amaf. And I want to do a uh, double honors to the apostles and my elders of Great Millstone. And also the brothers that's pushing this word, this truth. Pushing the word in truth and sincerity. All right. Um, and my lesson is on tradition of men. You know what I'm saying? Basically, you know what I'm saying? Um, Jake, the so-called so Negro, Latino, and Native Americans. They love following up after the ways of men, the tradition of men. You know what I'm saying? Mainly Esau, because Esau is, is the um, he's uh, the the biggest influence on our people in in today's time. All right, and as prophets, you know what I'm saying? As uh, as, as 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 us being the men of the Lord, we are out here to prophesy and to teach our people. And to let them know that following it, following the, the uh, traditions, the traditions of men, is, is is deceitful to you, and it also can bring death by forgetting, because you, you, cause, because our people are forgetting the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And I'm going ahead and go with the first scripture. It's Colossians two and eight. It says, "Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the, the rudiments of the world." And not after Christ. Hamashiach, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh All right, so it says, Beware lest any man spoil you through, through philosophy and vain deceit. All right, so we got to be aware. We got to be aware of these, these false prophets that's out here um, telling lies and, and, and blasphemy um, the Most High's words. It's telling you to do something other than what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is telling you to do. Like, for instance, um, following after these holidays, our people love following after holidays like um, New Year's and uh, Valentine's Day and uh, Easter and uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas. The list goes on. And and these 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 holidays, which are really hell hell days, um, those are those those days goes back into goes back into history with with. Um, Evil, even doings, you know what I'm saying? Um, evil, evil things, like, you know what I'm saying? With, with Valentine's Day, um, man, our people, you know what I'm saying, doesn't know that during the, the, the Valentine, like back in the, the Roman times, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with the Valentine's thing, it's, it's weird, it's, it's weird and crazy. They used to get, it's to kill dogs and cats and beat each other with their, with their dead carcasses skins, like, it has nothing to do with what they said is, but our people doesn't. Our people don't know that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they have, they have people, people having orgies and shit like that. That shit, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's against you know about Shmuel Shaz. Uh, you know what I'm saying? For lot, yeah, his, his his philosophies, his his doctrine. It's against his doctrine, so we shouldn't be following that theory, man. So just we got we got to be aware. You know what I'm saying? We got to judge the spirit by the spirit. You know what I'm saying? We gotta be spiritual with spiritual things, all right? And his 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 word is spiritual, all right? It says, "Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the root the rudiments of the world, and not after Hamashiach." So, you know what I'm saying? We shouldn't be following the traditions of the world. We should be holy, holy people set apart. You Negroes, Latinos, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? We are holy people, all right? So. We shouldn't be we shouldn't be doing the ways of, of, of the world. We should be after Hamashiach, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's ways, alright? That's the way to that's the way to live. That's the way to redeem the kingdom. That's the way to have everlasting life. Cause this 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 world that we in right now is, is only temporary. This kingdom that we in is only temporary, it's falling. And our people are trying to um, ground themselves and build empires and kingdoms. In Esau, you know what I'm saying? In Esau's time of of of, of, of ruler, rulership, and this is not this is not our time to rule. You know what I'm saying? We're coming into that time, but it's not the time. All right. Matthew 15 and 3. It says, "But he answered." This is Yahweh speaking. It says, "But he answered and said unto them, 
Why do you also trans transgress the, the commandment of Yahweh by your tradition? All right. So, you know what I'm saying? By by our people going off and, and, and following the ways of man, their their trans it, it transgression against Yahweh by Shem Yahushua's commandments and his statutes and his laws. And, and Yahweh shall ask him, why do you transgress the commandment of Yahweh? You know what I'm saying? And our people, they are they are they are truly a, a rebellious, a rebellious people. They like they like hearing smooth things. They like hearing the sweet things. But everything that's sweet and good, is not always good for you. All right. And that's what that's what the words of men they they like to smooth they like to smooth it out and butter it up for our people. And I and that's that's mainly through the, um that the, the the religion of Christianity. Now people that's 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 following Christ, Christianity love 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 sweet words. They can't take the truth. All right. So uh, verse seven it said, I'm gonna go down to verse seven. It's, uh, it says, "Ye hypocrites, well did as Isaiah's prophesied uh, of you, saying." This people draw nigh to me with their mouth and honor of, honor of me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. All right. So our people, they say they they they, they, they um they love Yahweh by Shem Yahusha. They say they love God. You know what I'm saying? But with the, they saying they saying they love God with their mouths, but not with their hearts. And if you love Yahweh by Shem Yahusha, you will keep His commandments. All right. If you love your help by Shem you will you will obtain unto unto a wise counsel. It says the beginning the beginning of the, of knowledge, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of the knowledge. All right. So if you fear, what what is fear? Fearing is, is um, what is love? Shalaki. What is love? Love is um, is submit submit submission. And fear, you know what I'm saying? So when you when you when you when you say you love the Most High, you're supposed to submit unto Him and fear Him. But our people are not fearing Him. They say they do, but they don't. They're not because they're still following the, the vain philosophies and, and deceits of men. All right. And um, verse nine it says, "But in, in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men." All right. So all. All these, all these works that that, that 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 our people doing, like these churches, they think they teaching the truth about our powers, but they're really teaching the, the lies about our powers. You know what I'm saying? It, they, they, it's, it's in vain. It's vanity. It's they, they're not gaining any profit behind teaching, uh, other than what you about Shem Yahweh uh, taught us. You know what I'm saying? It's teaching us. All right. So. They 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 leading our people into a ditch. They leading our people into a destruction by giving them these smooth buttery words. All right. It says, but in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. All right. So we gotta we gotta repent. We gotta repent from from these from these evil ways of, of men. All right. Cause men can't save you. All right. Only Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah can save you. All right. This is Second Timothy four and twenty four four and two. It says, "Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine." All right. So as the as the men of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? We we supposed to go out on the highways and byways preaching His word, giving charity. All right. Be it says be instant in season and out of season. So that's that means preach. You know what I'm saying? Preach the word continually. You know what I'm saying? Until Yahweh Bashim Yahweh tells us it's no more. All right. It says reprove. So we're supposed to reprove our brothers and sisters. We're supposed to give them um, words words of healing. We, you know what I'm saying? We got the power through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to heal our people. So we we should re reprove them, edify them. You know what I'm saying? Help them to be built it back up, so they can repent and follow the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Rebuke. We're supposed to rebuke the evil, the evilness. You know what I'm saying? The unrighteous. All right. When we rebuke the unrighteous, you know what I'm saying, and give them reproof, then they can become righteous. All right. Through Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. It says exhort, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. So we gotta endure and continue to do the willing works, the willing the works of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. 
All right, continually until he says it's not. You know what I'm saying? Till it's time for us not for, for us not to uh, preach the word. All right. Verse three it says, "For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears." All right. So the, 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 the time it says, "For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine." So our people, you know what I'm saying? You know, we we in a time we living in a time of information. You know what I'm saying? This this word is being pushed throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, and um. Every man is gonna have a chance to hear the hear the words of you how about Shem Yahweh Shah. But not every man is gonna uh, gonna um be attentive to hear you how about Shem Yahweh Shah words, alright? It says it says for for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers. So we got these false prophets out here heaping to their own even to themselves, you know what I'm saying? Thinking of, of themselves as being teachers when they're not being teachers, they're, they're being a false a false teacher because they, they're leading our people astray, all right? You know what I'm saying? And then with with our people, you know what I'm saying? It, they have an itching ears, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 you know what I'm saying? Shall like it. So, let me continue. Verse 4 it says, And they shall turn away their ears from, from the truth and shall be turned into fables, all right? So, um, by 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 these um these these preachers and these these false prophets preaching the, these um preaching the the commandments of men the the the, the doctrines of men the the philosophies of men they they having our people turn away from the truth all right and leading them to 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 uh, to, to um to destruction all right and we we'll, and it, it's 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 crazy but. It all happens for a reason, though. You know what I'm saying? Y'all about Shem Yahweh Shai, he has his sheep fold. It says his his sheep will hear his voice. You know what I'm saying? So when we go out on the highways and byways and we blow those trumpets, his people is going to hear and they're going to hearken. But the ones that that been, that been caught up and uh, drowned in drowned in, in these in these vain philosophies, they're not gonna they're not gonna make it. They're gonna be stuck to their own lust, their, their themselves. And they're gonna turn their the ears away from the truth. They're gonna be they're gonna be rebellious, rebellious people. All right. And this is Deuteronomy five and thirty one, chapter five, verse thirty one. It says, "But as for thee, stand thou here by me, and I will speak unto thee all the commandments and the statutes and the judgments which thou shalt teach them." All right. So this is how about Shem Yahweh Shai speaking? He says, "Stand by him." And he will speak thee all the commandments and statutes and judgments unto unto you, which thou shalt teach them. All right. And you know what I'm saying? Um, what's that scripture? I believe it's Amos. Amos three. It says, "Oh, uh, Yahweh by Shimei Shah, he he will reveal he will reveal of his secrets unto his servants, the prophets." All right. Unto his service, the prophet. All right. So it says, um, he says, I will speak unto thee all the commandments and statutes and the judgments. You how about Shimei Yahushua? He spoke to his servants and his prophets. You know what I'm saying? His words. You know what I'm saying? His statutes, his commandments, and his judgments. All right, for us to teach him out to the, to his flock. All right. It says that they may do them in the land which I give them to, to, to possess it. All right? And that's what we're doing. We, we out here in the land, you know what I'm saying? We in, we in this, this strange land. We're doing the will and the works of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. So we can, be, so we can um, be able to possess the kingdom. All the lands of the, of the earth. All right? So we could be back in rulership. You know what I'm saying? Be, be righteous judges. All right? Shalaki, shalaki. Okay, so this is verse. It says, "Ye shall observe to do therefore, as the Lord your power have commanded you. You shall not turn aside to the right hand or to the left." All right. So with that being said, when you help Hashem Yahweh Shai, when He give us His words of comfort, and He give us His ways of righteousness, 
we should stay on that path. We shouldn't be trying to go to the left or to the right. Because if you go to the left, you can fall in fire. If you fall in, if you go to the right, you can fall in water. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, it's, 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 it's destruction on both ends. So we have to be on that narrow, straight gate pathway to your house by shot. All right. And if we go, if we, and if we go off, it's over. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, a right, you know what I'm saying, a righteous man, you know what I'm saying, he fall off seven times and get back up. All right. So, you know what I'm saying? How about Shimmy Yahweh Shah? He knows that we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go off, you know what I'm saying? But we gotta we gotta have in our spirits that we need to repent and pray unto our father and ask of him to to um to give us forgiveness. You know what I'm saying? Ask him can he forgive us of the things that we did that, that made us veer off off his pathway. All right. But Yahweh Yahweh about Shimmy Yahweh Shah, he's gonna guide us continually, all right? This is verse thirty three. It says, you, sh you shall walk in all the ways which the Lord, your power, hath commanded you, that ye may live, and that it may be well with you, and that ye may prolong your days in the land which ye shall possess. All right? So we got to continue and stay on that, on that, that straight gate pathway to Yahweh B'Hashim Yahweh Shah. He commanded us to stay on that pathway. And that's the only way we could, that's the only way we could live. That's the only way we could redeem the kingdom. All right? And the last scripture, this second Thessalonians 2 and 15, it says, Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold, hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or our epistle. Let me go to that, um, let me pull out the word epistle real quick. Thessalonians 2. One second. Alright, this second Thessalonians 2 and 15 it says, Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, whether by word or our epistle. And that word epistle means a letter or a written message. Alright? So it says, whether by word or 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 our letter. And our letter is from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, this this book. The Bible, you know what I'm saying? The, the uh, Sophia, you know what I'm saying? Our wife. This, this, this is, this is our letter, you know what I'm saying? It says, therefore, stand fast and hold the traditions. So it says, stand fast, keep and hold, hold the traditions which we, we have been taught. And that's, and that's that. That's that simple as that. All right. Stop following after the ways of of, of these heathens and 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 and, the, and these Edomites, man. Because all they're gonna do is lead you lead you to um lead you to to uh destruction. Alright. So I hope, I hope this was edifying uh, to you alchemy and you aquas as well and to the children also. And again before I uh end it I'm gonna give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shah. And uh, also a double honors to the apostles of, of of GMS and my elders as well. That that who 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 rule well and teach well. And with that being said, I'm gonna say Shalom.